Hey guys, thanks for watching. Uh, one thing I wanted to bring up right away before I even talk about anything else is uh, the the amount of videos that I release every week, every day, whatever it is. Um, I just want everybody to know I'm I'm doing the best that I can. I know that there's a huge demand for for more dinosaur videos, and ideally I'd like to only release one a week. I think I've been releasing almost one every couple days. Uh, I do the best that I can. Uh, of course, my my bandwidth that I that I have to pay for it already costs me about 175 a month, and I'm almost over the limit. Like there's a monthly limit on how much I can use, and I almost go over every month, uh, which would make me pay a lot more. So I, I do the best that I can. I don't want to go over. I'd love to be able to release more videos, but I'm kind of limited. Uh, and also, I, I mean, I, I'm not a machine, <laughs> is what I usually say. Um, there's only so many videos I could release before uh, a lot of this would be just like, look, I placed stone brick, and then end of the video. And then the next one, look, I placed maybe sandstone, and then the end of the video. I don't want it to be just too simple. Like, my videos aren't the typical three minute, uh, five minute videos. I, I try to put as much content in them as I can, so hopefully that explains why uh, I can't release a video every day. Um, but I, I thank you. Thank you very much for having uh, such a love for the videos and wanting to see more. Anyway, look what I've done in here. I put sandstone all around. Uh, obviously I haven't finished yet and I want to maybe do in here catch up inside there where the glass is um, do I, I don't know if I like it it almost looks like I'm in a pyramid or something but I was kinda getting sick of it just being gray and more gray and more gray uh, so I think it cleans it up uh, when I'm done I'm still gonna leave this row of uh, stone brick on the bottom uh, but when I'm done I'll see what it looks like and if I don't like it I can always rip it out and replace it so there's that and look at what we got here two new plesiosaurs um, of course in one of my videos when I hatched one it got completely trampled by a brachiosaurus who also then died getting stuck inside of uh, the stone bricks there but what I've discovered and actually it was based off of a comment that I received um, I think it was actually about the triceratops is that you can kind of control them with a stick if you right click on them with the stick and so I went ahead and tried it with other dinosaurs whoa hey ah I'm, I'm traveling on them it's like I'm in Pokemon you remember whoa he can go fast oh this is way better than a boat oh man yeah this is gonna be great wow it's like a motorboat I wanna get one out on the on the ocean and see what it's like. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of like that. Uh, what was that di uh, Pokemon called that you could ride on in the game? Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. So I got two of those. And as you can see, let me get right to it. I built this. Whoops, I can't get up here. You and me both are trapped. Swim around them. Uh. I built it to 12 blocks high, including that half slab up there, and of course they can't break it. Um, as for the feeder, I was kind of disappointed. I got a piston, and what I was going to do is every time they grew a bit, because even now they've grown another uh, stage, I guess you could call it, and I want to move this up maybe two, two or three blocks, and I thought, okay, well I'll just put a piston under it. Pistons cannot lift the feeders. That was very disappointing. Because uh, that would have saved me time having to, you know. Well, actually, it's good and bad now that I'm thinking about it. Because what I'm eventually going to do, uh, I'll have a kind of a walkway over top so that I can put the feeder, uh, feed, fill the feeder. And I can't speed fill the feeder. But yeah, I'm actually happy though that these guys uh, don't break things anymore. So, very nice. I had to put glowstone in the ground because they actually break torches too. 
like as if they were blocked. Look, my torches just disappear when I go near them. So anything near them gets completely crushed. I had put two saplings down. I was gonna grow some trees for them. They got crushed. So not a lot that I can do with those guys to kind of dress it up in there. Uh, and as long as I keep that pillar tall enough, uh, they shouldn't be able to break it either. Uh, in here, oh, and this is actually very important. I've started work on that tunnel system that I was going to do, this maintenance tunnel, uh, so that eventually it'll all be sealed off, and when I want to go into the different pens, I'll just be able to walk and go up inside of them. So that's the way that I'd like it to be. This will, of course, be all dressed up. These wood blocks signify that that's the, the opening or where the opening should be for um, one of the mobs. Okay, so in here, uh, the two Triceratops had a baby, which is slowly becoming a actually rather huge uh, Triceratops. Now, let me see. This guy, whoop, who am I on? Yes. Now, this is a little bit better than, whoops. I rammed him. Where's that baby Stegosaurus? I don't want to hit him. A um, little bit easier to see with this guy, but he's not fully grown yet, so. Whoop. Let's see how their feet are. Uh, yikes. Okay, well, I like... I like keeping it over 600 if I can, just just because it's a good good spot to have it. If I go caving or something, I think 600's perfectly fine. Uh, man, they're still annoying though, all of them. A little Stegosaurus is in there too. Um, but look at these guys. I know that some of you had never seen the mammoths before, so uh, here they are. Their uh, tusks kind of get messed up. It's the same kind of glitch that I see on paintings where uh, the light doesn't quite reflect properly. Now this is something that they do often. They seem to like go nose to nose and just push each other. I, I don't know if it's because of the lack of space or if they're meant to do that, but they seem to do that almost like they're headbutting. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, one thing I notice is that you cannot use the Dinopedia on them. I don't know if I have to make it like a special Dinopedia using a mammoth uh, DNA or or what, but uh, whatever. So one thing I wanted to try is to take shears to these guys. Ah, -ha -ha. there you go. Shave the bottom of you too. <laughs> wow, isn't that the most brown wool you've ever seen in your life? Amazing. They are kind of like sheep. Wow, if you ever want brown wool. <gasps> Does that mean... Oh, I wonder. I doubt it. I was going to say, are they able to be dyed? Now, if that were possible, that would be amazing. And I'm going to try that right away. Um, let's keep that there. They can't jump at all, so only having it too high is perfectly fine. Uh, where do I have some dye? I think I might have at least some flowers. I'll, I'll make one red, maybe. Okay, these plesiosaurs in the uh, in the water, they can't jump out either. So it's actually kind of convenient. I don't even have to really make an enclosure for them. I just threw them in the pond in the middle and uh, where would that be? Ah, let's take a couple just because and go and see what happens. I made a little island for them in the middle because I saw that they, they seem to gravitate towards land like they don't like being in water all the time um, but they completely avoid that island that's unfortunate I don't mind though as long as they uh, they don't die I've managed to kill off every other creature in this entire mod so if I can keep them alive I'm, I'm doing something right whoops not the right place whoops I can't get to it from from here so oh let's try again this way Temporarily. I guess I could finish that tunnel now, but... Okay, let's see what happens. Did I use it? No. Ah, I had high hopes for you, guy. Oh, well. <laughs> Actually, that would be really awesome. I hope they add that feature, that you can die these guys. 
because if they regrow their their wool from eating, although I don't know if they do. I think that guy just took a bite and he hasn't regrown his wool yet. So maybe they don't. Hmm. Not sure. But that would be great if you could dye them and then get that much wool. How much did I get? 17 from the two of them. That's pretty, pretty good. Uh, and lastly, what you've probably been screaming at this entire time is that I completely, completely ripped out the road. Uh, the sandstone and the black wool, I just, I, I wasn't feeling it. And so I pulled it all out and I replaced it for this more typical uh, road that you usually see on Minecraft. But I put these glowstone in the middle like this and I'm not really liking that either. So what I was going to do, let's see, do I have one on me? I don't. But what I was going to do is replace these, like push the glowstone down one and then put a piston over top so that the light would shine through the piston. Let's at least do one. I, I've got a piston. I just made one piston. That was when I was working on that feeder. So let's take a look. Here we go. Use my silk touch pick so that I don't uh, break the glowstone. Let me out of here. Okay, so glowstone and that I need on the bar and that I need on the bar. Okay, like so. Like so. Okay. And like that. So now, uh, hmm. I could even extend it so that it's almost flush with that. That might look good. Yeah, I might do that. I'll put redstone torches beside these guys, um, which I don't have on me. But the idea is that I'll replace all the glowstone, these dips, with with pistons man it's bugging me that it's still inset like that what was I thinking grab it grab it there we go uh, torch okay now where do I place this thing so that it works plesiosaur is hungry these guys are supposed to fish actually when they are when they're hungry and what I saw let me see I don't see it now um these guys are supposed to go fishing when they are when they're starving. This guy's not that bad. I fed him not long ago though, manually. But anyway, they're supposed to be able to find fish. This guy's at two forty seven. That's still not too bad. Get out there and fish, guy. I was well oh, man, now I'm stuck in there. I was uh, just wandering around the edge and I saw two fish sitting on like on the shore so either fish spawn specifically for these guys or I don't know but they're supposed to fish on their own when they're hungry if there's water nearby and there is lots of water nearby so I'm not gonna feed them I'm just gonna see what happens if they're too stupid and and die from starvation then lesson learned I'll have to figure out a feeder type of system but apparently they're supposed to feed themselves so I'm trusting the game okay food next step eat where did I put that piston right here okay so if I put a torch oh I don't like that Hmm. <laughs> there we go. There's there's my lighting system. Ugh, I hate it still. I want I want this and the glowstone to be flush, you know, but these are half slabs, so Oh, I hate that even more. So, that's not going to be the way that it is. I'll have to figure something out with the lighting. Uh, but I don't know what yet. Okay. Moving on to the real business. Oh, I should also mention before I get on to the real business that I went through the nether portal that I made at the end of this tunnel um, and actually found a stronghold, a nether stronghold, nether fortress, whatever you want to call them. I found one. It's not too, too far away. So I did get some uh, nether bricks and nether fences. 
I can maybe dress up some of this with nether brick now. I always liked nether brick, so probably do that. Here's the real business. Dun dun dun. What the? Hey. Uh oh. Uh. Notice that I don't have a sword on the bar for some reason. Man, mobs have been crazy lately. Like, it, it's perfectly lit up here. Well, could maybe do a little bit better. But it's fairly lit up. And mobs have just been spawning in the smallest little patches of darkness. So, it's it's tough. Let's see. What do I need? I need a feeder that I didn't think about. Hmm. Ah, well, we'll see how it goes. My Brachiosaurus is hungry. Crap! Are they not eating because that thing's too low? Okay, I'll have to fix that. I'll have to hurry this. Although when it says they're hungry, I think they still have lots of uh, lots of hunger bars yet. Where's the entrance? I forgot. I buried it. Okay, dig down and like that. And I put a door. Hopefully that's enough. Okay, so I want to see this happen. Where are my torches? Torches. Dinopedia. Status warm. Huh. I know that you're supposed to put torches around it, but even in the pitch black night, they seem to be status warm, like it doesn't make any difference. I don't know. Okay, so right clicking on it with the Dinopedia, like everyone has suggested, does show me the progress of a hungry egg, or a, of a growing egg, I should say. Hatching egg, that's the word. Ah, <sighs> okay, well, we'll see what happens here. Um,. If I stand close to a T-Rex, will it be tame? Do I need one of those javelins? I guess I'll find out right now. If I die, oh, that would suck. But, oh man, that really would suck. Okay, hold on a second. Hold that thought, egg. Um, Let me see here. Do I have any wood on me? Of course not. Oh man. Uh, I don't want to die with this silk touch pick on me, but, eh. If I die, I die. That's just gonna be how it is. 39%. These guys are growing pretty good. I hope, from what I saw with the Brachiosaurus, if these are taller than their eye height, maybe this guy has some kind of an eye height too, and he won't be able to break this. Um, but with the Brachiosaurus, when there was a glass block in the middle, they were able to smash right through. Uh, like it took away the top iron block as well. I hope. I really, really hope that that doesn't happen. And as for this overhang, I almost have a feeling like if he's big and mean and his head's sticking out over this, he might be able to just destroy this overhang. Uh, but that's okay, I guess, as long as he doesn't destroy uh, the middle blocks. I'll just have to do something with the lighting. And, uh, like, I might just put closed stone in the floor, which seems to be a, a pretty good uh, choice. Triceratops, you can see them from here. That's going to make him hungry. 80%. We're almost there. Doing good so far. Not much uh, much to it. Okay, it's becoming daytime, I can see. And this guy, 91. Uh, seems to be growing a lot faster. Or maybe it's just because I'm watching, you know? If you watch them grow, it seems a lot faster. Oh, I should get a sword ready or something. Oh, yeah. Oh, no! Oh, you little... Okay. Right away, he was coming for me. Or at least I think he was. He doesn't seem to be interested now. Hmm. Let's go get a closer look. Oh no, he doesn't hurt me. Oh yes he does. Okay, he took a heart. And I have diamond armor on. He took a heart. That's not bad. Oh, I like the sound he makes. What is that, a motorcycle? I think I heard the throttle get cut. <laughs> nice sound effects. Okay, so I'm going to have to do something for food. 
Um, otherwise, this guy will starve. As much as he is mean, I still like him. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Where did I put that button? Alright. So that seems to be a success. He can't break through yet. I don't know if that means that he won't ever be able to, but I don't like doubt that. We'll see how it goes. Uh, oh, okay. We'll do one one more thing, and then I'll call it quits for the night. Um, let's... No. No, no, no. How do I make this guy? What do I do? I don't want to right-click to ride him. I want to control him. Can I not control him now that he's... Oh, wait. I'm using a stick. That's the thing about these guys. You need an empty shell. That's right. Okay, stay, follow me. Um, now let's see, if I can get past this... See, it's kind of hard to navigate the maze of lily pads, though. Uh, if I can get past them, I'm going to go towards where I found a mine shaft and died twice. Yep, I died. It was really bad. Oh, come on. Come on, I'm trying to go fast here, and I'm, I'm stuck. Okay. Hard to steer. Probably, eh, it's not quite as hard as a boat would be. Um, it's actually a little bit easier to steer, but it's not easy. It's not like it's uh, been much improved. So anyway, I was way out here. I saw some light in the water and decided that I was going to go investigate it. Turned out to be a mine shaft. And I got careless and died twice. So, kind of sucks, but what can you do? Man, that mountain has a weird shape to it. Um, okay, well, I'm, I'm lost. I don't know where that mine shaft place would have been. No clue. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, this is fun. I like the fact that he's so fast. Yeah, like I say, screw boats. Well, for the most part. Oh no, I didn't mean to hit you. It's full, it's full, it's full, it's full. Keep feeding him anyway. Oh, well, on that note, I thank everyone for, uh, in the last video, sub uh, subscribing to Haru. Uh, she really, really appreciates it. I appreciate it even more. Uh, thank you from the bottom of our hearts. That was very kind of all of you for doing that. Uh, and... That pretty much sums it up for this episode. Um, hopefully I can get out uh, another episode soon. I'll do the best I can, like I said. Here's where it is. I see it. Come on forward, guy. Yep, it was right there where I have that workbench. And my other boat, which I will never ever use again. Okay, so I dock him like this. Uh-oh. How do I get off? Get off. No. There we go. And then I order him to stay. Free move, stay. Stay there. And then I can jump to my death. <laughs> okay, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.